Got a new Pope elected. Russia is now mostly dead. The Third International. France has gone through with the design to hold the first Congress in Third International, and we, as expected, have received an invitation. Again, why would you ever choose this option? Like, why even give you the option to say no to joining the uh, the conference? So there's just a massive stability penalty for no reason. What ideology will we go? I'm not too sure uh, which way we'll go quite quite yet. As a socialist and the Bolshevik parties, oh, this, this is just for this. We we've read that event before. It's not a big deal. You read it once, you've read it a million times. Again, like Russia, like the, the whites shouldn't have Pinnacles in Spain. We'll pledge our support to them. We got urban militias, which is a handful of free units. And by a handful, I actually mean this actually quite a bit. Thank you, thank you. I actually need to create another army just for these guys. Not under a different field marshal. You can be assigned with you. You're going to go to this border and you're just going to basically go like, hey, push your way into Russia. And we can't do you until Russia doesn't exist. So we basically, we have to kind of mobilize all of our, uh, all of our dudes here. Okay, support John Jack Reed. And that's also captures the airport. What do we want to do with women's roles in the, in the world revolution? Okay, well, we'll, we'll get the political power. I think it's one two percent stability, which is still not very good. Rate the committee. I think that's the one, the anti-colonial committee, if I remember correctly. Thank you, Britain, for a handful of uh, planes. Don't need war support quite quite yet. Convoys. Two convoys. No, 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 no. Two convoys for now. Yes. Okay, world economic crisis. The world turned international. We'll try to exploit this as much as we possibly can. There we go. The first Congress has now officially ended. Is there a reason for you to be on this border? I would say no. Finland. I don't think can invade us. I might be wrong. But I don't think they can invade us. I know they can invade the Russian Republic. But I don't think they can fight us. Handful of here. They're trying to break out, but... I mean, it's not going to work out super well for them. And yeah, they are now basically stack wiped. Love to see it. What else do we need? We have, we need to actually everything. We got our infantry equipment. Uh, let's put one in our total artillery. Let's go one in support uh, equipment for now. And another war for their claims. We got three more units in Moscow. And more troops over in Petrograd. So let's go for the war effort. Does this it bypass if, if Russia doesn't exist? With the political power because we did take over their new capital. And they're dead. Lovely. So we're just gonna take all states because why would I not? The Lash Orda. You know, I I I will be nice and I will give a Lash Orda their claims. I don't know what, what are they claiming? They're claiming. Claim here, claim here, there you go. You can have your claims, even though I will absolutely just murder you very soon. Oh, this is available. Don't need these quite, quite yet. This should automatically bypass, I think, because Russia no longer exists. And yeah, let's, let's rebuild the country. Even though the, the Civil War only lasted, what, like a day? February 10th. Yeah, like four months. Let's put you on the border of Ukraine. Put you on the border with the Lash Orda. Put you on the border with Lord I'm not too sure which of these units will actually keep in the, um... 
in the Civil War, because they, they might get disbanded, because they're basically just, like, peasant militia. The revolution successful! With Kornilov overthrew Russia's legitimate government, he killed Russia's democracy in its infancy and signaled to millions of Russians that a return to aut autocracy was inevitable. As thousands were marched off to jails, many took more took to the streets to protest, protests turned into riots, and into a revolution. Getting widespread popular support among against the draconian measures undertaken by Kornilov's junta, revolutionary ranks quickly swelled. As only a most strident right is remaining in Kornilov's fold, the hardened and veteran white army soon found itself pushed back to the vast numbers of the reconstituted Red Army. In the end, only Siberia is only Siberia to retreat into, they eventually fragmented. The holdouts will likely remain past the for quite some time. The white movement has been thoroughly defeated, and there's no chance of reversing its fortunes. Though the vanguard of the revolution was initially sidelined by more modern elements that joined up simply to stand against the prospect of a statocracy, there's no doubt in the victory won by the radical socialists. No matter what path the fledgling Russian Socialist Republic takes, after this, it remained firmly in the socialist bloc for years to come. Indeed, with prospects of socialist Russia joining forces with the syndicalists in Paris, uh, is already keeping many strategies in the Reich's fact up at night. So we get less of population, more consumer goods. Stability is going to be once again in the toilet. But I mean, we're Russia. Being having no stability should just be should just be expected at this point. Who needs stability, right? We'll be coming up soon. Do we see what the? I mean, we have the three leaders. We got Bukharin. We've got. Karl Redek, Industrial Democracy. I think you are the totalist. You are probably syndicalist and you are... I know Brukhard, I think he's a radical socialist option. Um, Lancestry. You are resource gain efficiency, which is kind of meh. Our efficiency cap's going up a, is a little nice. War support plus 20%. Definitely can be useful. Ability plus 10%. Only well, population, I think, is basically garbage. Yeah, I think about the population is just trash. You don't need to worry about that. I'm saying construction speed. And the first five-year plan. You will happen as long as we get one of you two. Roll the unions. Research slot there. You are... 15% factory output. Less consumer goods. More construction speed. Just a flat 10% as opposed to just only being military. Negative 20% stability, but we do get more efficiency growth. More industrial research speed. I'm just, I'm just not too sure what the five-year plan is. At least three of the following must be true. More factories than 100. Have completed a bunch of these things. We, right now, we have 33 factories. And then we're spreading the final... Spreading the revolution, the final battle... And you are joining International. Finland joined the Reichs Pact. Not a big surprise. They usually do that. We're probably seeing a Don Cuban. Yeah, Con Dukun's also going to join the Reichs Pact right away. Georgia. Yeah, usually the socials win. A lot of countries do end up joining up with the Reichs Pact. Because they're scared of us. Which they should be. Get our military up and running. Draw our line out. We need this one unit. I don't. I don't know if he does anything. You hate or support the Kanzuk plan? That's the um. What's the Kanzuk plan? It's, it's like the free movement between Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and the UK, right? Or at least I'm pretty sure what that that that's what that is. Let's draw your line here. I mean, I don't have anything against the idea. I know people who are, you know, they're 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 British. Conflict in the party. Parties come under a divide between three factions, one led by Bukharin, one by Conte, and one by Redek. One by Bukharin champions the path of socialism at a snail's pace, 
Macaulay's industrialization prevents the creation of a mass state bureaucracy as well as wanting to reserve the Shmecha at all costs and wanting to bridge the general urban rural divide in the country. The faction led by Kolontai promotes a union to manage the economy, seeing as the best way the workers are voicing the economy in a nation. They're also very opposed to perceived influence for the peasants and thus want to break up the expansion strongly, working for further workerization of the party. Last but not least, the faction of Benedict supports uh, ideas of a primitive social amp, uh, ac accumulation uh, that is extracted from peasant surplus value and used us to, de to develop the product of forces transition to make Russia ready for socialism. That develops their minds through the five-year plan. I think we will definitely, I think we'll go for the Cyniclist. I think it's a PSP, yes. Yeah, let's, why not? Why not a uh, Conte's faction? I don't think we've seen Russia go, I mean, Russia does go socialist very often. So we now got, and I've never seen this leader before in my entire life. A chaotic revolution. This will hopefully kind of alleviate, alleviate itself a little bit in the future. And I do think um, the Cyniclis, at least what I saw in the focus tree, do seem to have the best focus tree. So they do... Okay, th this was a, a little broken right now. Is it actually going to crash the game? There we go. No, it's fine. Because where is it? The, yeah, that 50% factory output is really, really good. And will definitely allow us to become a massive powerhouse. We can even probably send weapons to Britain or France if we have to in the future. Yeah, Russia does go Santa Claus a lot more often. Well, it's probably because I know in the Russia update that they're doing... Uh, Sanikov will automatically be, he's like the lead, they're getting rid of Kerensky, and they're putting Sanikov as being the beginner leader. And then he either, I think, seizes power or, you know, other, other things can happen. Okay, research, let's go. Oh well, yeah, it's 1937. Let's go for the 36 artillery upgrade. We're missing motorized and light tanks and fighters. We do, we do need a lot of things right now. Our industry... Certainly could stand to be a little better. We have seven we have seventeen thousand rifles. Okay, let's cut this down then at least a little bit for right now. At least for the time being. So you're gonna be done in a few more days. Will you go up, war sport go up, factory output will go up, all uh nice, nice things. And you are yeah, the fish they gained is not the best. Copy rate, Red Army. I don't think we need to, we don't really care about the, uh, taking the seeds of the VVS right now. We already have 500,000 men in the field. You know, let's spread the revolution just so we can start pushing our way into Lash Orda. And with 172 political power, we're immediately going to go to early mobilization. What do we have? We're missing a little bit of rubber. Uh, I guess we'll get that from the Kingdom of Siam, because we don't want to give any factories to uh, the German-aligned states for, I would hope, would be very obvious reasons. German-aligned states are not really our friends. But at least the Baltic, the Baltic Duchy collapsing, I think, does make our life a little bit easier. Um, we do... Okay, the militias did get disbanded. I think anybody's too surprised by that. It's what I was expecting was going to happen. Um, and you are this unit. Who said, yeah, the basic 20 combat width. Let's delete all the armies that we're not actually using right now. You're basically just cluttering this up. Let's go, let's say, 10 on you for right now. Let's go, let's say... Get 20 of you. Deploy in Moscow when you can. We do need some troops on Donku in the border. Um, I guess aside from that, Transmere is a theoretical threat, but I mean, if they take land when we're at war with Germany, I'm just going to give it to them because we can always just go back and take it later. Let's also get a uh, resource gain efficiency. Oh, yeah, Latvia can go socialist. I did forget about that. Latvia, what are you doing right now? You are a. Pretty sure like a military junta. 
Which I believe means you're probably not going to go socialist, unfortunately. Got a coup d'etat in Siam. How many, how many troops exist in the Lash Orda? Two to eight. Okay, so the full 24 stack we have on their border, I would imagine is going to be good enough to deal with that. Left KMT campaign went. Oh, definitely. I've been meaning to do one recently. We tried once. We failed miserably. They either remain per turn autocrat or turn Radsock. Okay. Begin the Latinization of languages. As socialism seeks to unify humanity and wither away the states in the future, many of the government have proposed that the Russian government should begin Latinizing the, lat the languages of its nations, as the Cyrillic alphabet would impede communication between Western Europe and Russia and the people comprising it, amongst others. However, the full understanding of Latinization of all languages in Russia will take a long time, considering the amount of languages that there are. Thus, the government has begun Latinization of alphabets of many, many languages that are spoken in the land comprising this nation, uh, the move is spearheaded by the Commissar of Enlightenment, Anatoly Luna Chariski, who is known for his more unorthodox opinions, like his opinion that scientific socialism is a defecation of humanity, saying that socialists are the most religious groups. Fitting political power. We have not, I've not played as, um, Yunnan Clique or Transmuter for We did do Left KMT once on YouTube. I think when the China update dropped, but at that point, that would have been like, I think like two years ago at this point. Okay, let's attack the, attack the Lash Orda. Kill these guys ASAP. Final battle has to join a Reich's Pact. We can actually declare war on, on Germany right now. I didn't actually realize you could do it so fast, but we're not going to do that for obvious reasons. Even though I'm of the opinion that attacking Germany ASAP is the better choice. We're not going to do it. Yeah, if they, if they do a rework of the uh, left KMT, we'll definitely give it a try. But go for industrial democracy here. Germany's Asia's clear war on you. What do we need for these guys? Need to be neighbor. We need to neighbor them. Okay, fair enough. And with 118 political power... Honestly, just go straight to partialization. We are Russia, so our manpower should be pretty good. We are missing 25% because we are we have a lot of penalties right now, unfortunately. Once those penalties are gone, hopefully be looking a lot better. The land lease, thank you, Italy. So which way do these guys go? You gone syndicalist, syndicalist, Italy's gone totalist. And of course, we've gone to close ourselves. What about the other powers here? Mexico's gone totalist. Chile is still cyclist right now. And I don't think anyone else has gone socialist yet. I guess Indo Chinese Union does exist. Budata in Algiers. Modoc is now in charge of the country. You might want to send volunteers to um, the Indo Chinese Revolt. Yeah, let me get the, get me that 15% fat fail put. Thank you very much. Also, we're going to immediately move troops here, and we're going to immediately move troops. Uh, take these cities, and then move your way towards the border here. As long as we border them, we can declare war on them. Which will be nice. And, yeah, and you all start off as core states, which is nice for me. And I guess once you guys are finished... The reds and the whites! A truly socialist cor uh, courtyard game has become popular among children. The game in question is called Reds and Whites. A truly socialist form of cowboys and Indians. The cowboys are the Reds and the Indians are the Whites. Uh, the game has become so popular, in fact, that, it com that companies have begun to sell air guns explicitly for Reds and Whites. With those guns being very popular among children, too. The government has strongly supported this. I think it's a way for them to mold the youth to be more open to socialism even in the future. Okay, we got more political power, a little bit more support for syndicalism. Now that we border, I guess we need to actually oh, occupy the state. I'm not too, too sure, honestly. The neighbor of you. 
I'm guessing we probably actually need to annex the Lash Orda first. This victory point rushing is not going to be quite be good enough. But I mean, we outnumber them. I think, like, at worst, 4 to 1. Don't need war. Ah, you know what? Yeah, let's get war propaganda. Against the Lash Orda. Give me the uh, that war goal or the war support boost. I would not mind it at all. Apparently, the uh, transmitter wanted voting rights on the Legation Council. And they have said no. 80 days on you. Might as well, you, why don't you just march their actual victory points? It makes our life easier. Then we attack Kiva, we attack Turkestan, and then we can attack Wukara afterwards. Incorporate all of those into our uh, beautiful, beautiful country here. You can one day announce that you're finishing up Kaiser. Like, what mod do you play next? Well, the thing is, like, I, I'm not actually limited to just playing Kaiser. Like, it's just the one that, it's just the mod that I think is like the best. If I was a main, if I was like, be like, I'm never gonna play Kaiser again, and I was gonna just only play a different mod forever, I honestly don't know which one I would choose. You guys, just stay on this board. Let's keep up. I think, like, I should actually play some more, some more mods on stream. I think it's been a long while, I think, since we last played a not Kaiserite campaign. I mean, I know, I guess we did play the one campaign in the Star Wars mod. But other than that, like, if we, last time we played Red Flood or uh, the New Order, it's been a while since we've done any of those. Research people is 10%. Go for the Goil Rope plan? Jackery has been elected president of the United States. And now that you've capitulated, give me all of your states. Thank you very much. All of you will go here. We'll also go here. I will play Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4. I, I, I just don't think Vanilla Hearts of Iron 4 is good, honestly. The only time we play vanilla is when there's a new DLC. So when, um... I, what's the DLC called again? The one that's coming up? I complete... Not one step back. When that DLC comes, then we'll, then we'll play probably one or two campaigns of vanilla. But probably not before then. I wouldn't mind playing some mods that are, you know... Real life, World War II. But, you know, modified a little bit. We need any... What are we missing? We need more rifles. We need more light tanks. Okay, let's build some more tanks. Change in family rules results in spike of divorce rates. While many revolutionaries had a religious background or learned at religious schools, they do not have a good opinion of the church in general. Seeking to break the Orthodox Church and its influence on the Russian society, both legally and through their public influence. However, while curbing their cultural influence will take, a lot, will take out longer, the government has begun eroding the influence of the... Uh, Orthodox Church legally. The Russian government has begun measures to take away control uh, and foreign marriages away from the church and making a civil affair with the government. They also greatly simplified divorce, where it is now a simple matter of uh, registration instead of former hard process in Tsarist and Republican Russia. However, while this has greatly improved the mobility of women to leave abusive families, it has also resulted in mass spikes in divorce rates on a level never seen before. And with divorce rates being the highest in the world now, thanks to divorce being so easy. 